So, the day has arrived, I received my new Sony gear, so I'm gonna explain everything about my suites in a second for you to understand a little bit better how I did it to try to save money, even though we all know how expensive it is to switch camera systems, and more when I've been shooting with Canon for almost 15 years. So this is my old Canon gear, but wait, this one is my new Sony camera, and you can understand how happy I am because I have the 5D Mark IV and it's heavy and very big, even though I was very happy with it, and this one it's obviously mirrorless and it's the Sony a7R5. So it's a tiny beast. I'm very happy about this one because I was having doubts between buying the Sony a7 IV or buying this one. And I decided to take this one because for those new to my channel, I'm mainly a portrait photographer. I shoot with music artists in London, I shoot fashion, I shoot with models, but I really love creative portrait photography. So that's what I do mainly, but I love other kind of photos as well. Sports photography, wildlife photography, lifestyle photography, landscape photography, and I miss that a lot. So I'm gonna start very soon my solo travels as a photographer, and I'm very excited about that. And I'm gonna start shooting again travel photography, sports photography, wildlife. So that's why I took this one with 61 megapixels, because I know when I'm shooting wildlife or sports photography, it's gonna come in handy that I'm gonna be able to crop a lot of the images if I need to, because I have the resolution. I've got a zoom lens, but you know what I mean you have more versatility with this resolution to be able to crop. And also the fact that even if I shoot in APAC mode, I'm gonna still have 26 megapixels. So this is gonna give me a lot of versatility. Zoom lens I bought. I've got the 70 200 mm f2.8 G Master. By the time you're watching this video, I've just received the Sony gear. I recorded some footage and I did some self-portrait photography and I was amazed by its quality. So I know it's totally worth it to invest in G Master lenses because they are incredible. And I'm very happy about this one, even though I was thinking a lot about the 100 400 mm. Why? Because I have the 70 300 from Canon and for me, it was never enough reach. I always wanted more, but I took this one because as a portrait photographer, I know this lens is more versatile than 100 for 100. I'm 100% sure one day I'm gonna get that one, but for now, I already lost a kidney and a half <laughs> making the switch, so that lens is gonna have to wait for now. This one is more versatile, and as I said, because the resolution of this camera is amazing, even shooting with 200 millimeters, I'm gonna be able to crop. So I think I'm gonna be able to manage a little bit. So the next lens I bought is one of my favorite focal ranges, which is the 24-105mm f4. I was doubting a lot, literally I wasn't sleeping, like literally, I was all the time thinking about this because it's an investment, about getting the 2470 f2.8 G Master. Because that one, obviously, you have f2.8, it's better for low light, and for portrait, it's incredible, it's a G Master, I know, it's amazing, but it was very expensive for me right now. And 24105 is gonna be very handy for me for my travels, because I know I'm gonna travel with a lot of gear, my GoPro, my drone, my camera, my second camera, by the way, I'm recording with it right now, the Sony a7C, I'm in love with that tiny camera. So yeah, it's already a lot of gear. So I wanna be able, when I go on a hike in very hot countries, because I'm gonna start from Southeast Asia, most likely, I wanna be able to take one camera and one lens for the whole day when I need to go light. So with the 24, 105 millimeters, I'm gonna be able to do that. And you can achieve bokeh as well with this one. You just have to shoot over 85 millimeters and you're gonna get a nice bokeh as well. So it's all about, mastering this lens to be able to get bokeh and also this lens has a stabilization and the 2470 it doesn't which is totally fine but because i'm going to record travel vlogs while i still teach you photography i want a stabilization because i'm not going to travel with a gimbal i don't need more gear in my life because it's going to be super heavy for myself so please make sure to subscribe to my channel because i share weekly videos about photography and the creative industry and I saw you how to make a living with your camera, I saw you about the stock photography, I saw you a lot about portrait photography, but that's why I'm excited when I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna be able to share my adventures on my own, teaching you landscape photography, wildlife photography, sports photography, what I humbly know, obviously. So I would be very happy you follow along. And I'm gonna carry on for my Sigma lenses for Canon, because as you can see, this is a very tiny system with just two lenses. So what I did is getting the Sigma adapter, the MC11. So with this tiny thing, 
I'm gonna be able to use my Sigma 35 millimeters f1.4, which I love, and then my favorite portrait lens ever. It's a bit of love and hate because it's very heavy and very bulky, but this lens is the best lens I've ever used for portrait photography. So I'm gonna be able to use both of them in my Sony camera. So as you can see here, this is not that tiny anymore. I have a few lenses and I have already so many focal ranges covered. And also I'm recording right now with the Sony a7C and the Tamron 17 28 millimeters, which is an incredible lens for blogging. It's my favorite one because it's very light, but I do have a video explaining my Mimi <laughs> but I do have a full video explaining my whole minimalist vlogging gear as a photographer. So another reason why that I didn't take the 2470G Master is because we all want the best of the best all the time. But you think about that, this one is f2.8, the 7200. Then I have the 105mm f1.4 and I have the 35mm f1.4. So I already have lenses that are gonna give me amazing bokeh if I need to. So I was like, okay, Laura, I think you can deal with one lens that is f4. And I'm very happy I made that choice. It's a very big deal to switch systems and it's very expensive. But guys, if the camera you're gonna get is gonna help you to create better photos, better videos, and it's gonna improve your workflow, it's gonna be totally worth it. So this would be all my Sony gear from now on, the two Sigma lenses with adapter, the 7200mm G Master, and the 24-105mm f4. And guys, also, if you are having doubts about switching, or you have doubts about any lens, or any camera, or anything at all, please make sure to comment below, because I always try to comment every single comment. Sometimes I take longer, which is normal, but I try to always help. No, I'm more broke, but I'm very happy with the decision because I'm gonna be able to create amazing videos and photos with this camera. I have a hybrid camera right now, the 5D Mark IV, it was just a photography camera. It served me very well, I was very happy with it, but my needs changed a lot, so think about that. And if you want to know why I switched from Canon to Sony after almost 15 years, go check out this video because I explain everything over there. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, like the video because it helps me a lot, and I will see you very soon. Big love!